going on guys? FaZe Rug here and I'm bringing you all a brand new video and as you can see, I'm holding the camera. It is a FaZe Rug vlog today. I am here in Miami, Florida for the YouTubers vs TikTokers boxing event. First, I wasn't even gonna vlog this trip because I wanted to enjoy myself, no camera, no nothing, until I got here and I'm like, yo, I gotta show my fans everything that I'm doing because this is insane. I just got to my room. This is probably the most insane hotel room with the craziest view that I've ever stayed at. And I wanna show you something else. So here are the elevators to get up and it's a private floor. Check out the carpet. And I was also informed that the last person that stayed in my hotel room was rapper Sway Lee. And I'm a huge fan of Sway Lee. I love his music. But guys, this is gonna be like an old school phase rug vlog if you guys miss me holding the camera and vlogging like this please drop a like hit that subscribe button i'm so sorry i was like someone's got something going on yeah. oh my god dude i'm sorry i make youtube videos oh my god i just got so scared guys <laughs> yeah i didn't know that people lived here i thought it was literally just people that stay for vacation but look at the view from here this is not even my room view miami florida dude there's a football field right over there. We got the ocean. You could see a cruise over there, but wait till you see the other side. All right, without further ado, here is my room for the weekend. So here's a quick tour. We got a bar, we got the kitchen, we got a dining table. I already unpacked some of my stuff. We got my shoes and we got the living room over here. There's a hallway and here is the first guest bedroom. I laid out literally all my outfits. I'm feeling very Miami vibes, you know, like I'm in Miami. I gotta get the style. First bathroom is insane. We got the sink, mirror, phase rug. We got the toilet, we got a bidet, we got a super nice shower, and now it's time for the master bedroom. We got the main bed, a TV, and here is the master bathroom. Look at how big this shower is. I already put it to use, it was amazing. We got a bathtub, we got the two sinks. I already made a mess because I can't take care of myself. <laughs> Are you guys ready to see the best part? All right, in three, two, one. Look at the balcony of this hotel room. Are you actually kidding me? This is South Beach, Miami, Florida. This is insane. And then we got the hotel pool right there. There's a bathtub on the balcony. Like you could literally take a bath out here and enjoy this insane view. We also got a funny story about Sway Lee staying here. You guys see those $1 bills right there? When Sway Lee was here, he was literally just throwing ones off the balcony and you could still see them here. And yeah, guys, there's also someone here that wants to say hi. Where is he? Yo! Is that simplistic? Hey, yo! Hey! We, we in Miami. Miami, baby! Miami. Let's go! Dude, you look like you live here. We're Come gonna on. have a great time. We gotta do some, like, predictions real quick also about the fight. Jarvis is fighting TikToker Michael Lee or something. I don't, I don't even know. I don't know, but he has, like, 50 million followers. But guess what? Followers don't have anything to do with boxing. Yeah. I mean, I think just Jarvis is more built and he's just more trained. And, I mean, he's our boy, so I'm obviously gonna take 100%. I think Jarvis is gonna take the dub easy. He's been training so hard. Hard. Now for the main event, Bryce or Austin. <laughs> okay, so I think Austin's gonna you win. You have to be connections honest. with both of them, so that's the hard part for you. It's tough, man. It's tough, but like I'm not too invested in both of them, so I'm gonna say Or. Oh, you're yeah, yeah. Or is gonna win. Or is gonna win. Okay, okay. <laughs> I think Or is gonna win. There's a lot of other people here. Tons, Phase members, tons. my brother, my cousin, a bunch of people Everyone's are here in Miami. Here. Everyone's here. Drop a like and subscribe to get him to 20 mil, and we in Miami, baby. You heard this, man. Let's go. All right, guys, we just linked up with the Faze boys. We got my boy Zico yes, K, Nico, Chandler, Noah, Swag, this girl, Sam. Put the camera to you. Come on. You guys <laughs> see that hair? We're at the Dior Cafe. I didn't know that there was like a Dior food place. Right, the... Gucci. Me and Gucci have had a falling out ever since they didn't sponsor me, so I'm moving on to like my new brand. <laughs> but yo, Jarvis is fighting tomorrow. You guys saw the weigh-in today. How was it? How was like the right. intensity? It was there? Yeah, man, there was no fans. Like, like, Ooh. <laughs> I know you've been getting called out a lot recently, but Tanner Fox, like, right on the mic, I'm calling out Faze Rug. He called me out? No, he did not. Yeah, he did. Yo, you know who called me out that I haven't even mentioned? Mayweather's son. Yeah, Mayweather's yeah. son, Karan, wants to box me. I don't know. That's he's kind a, of scary. Bro, he's, he's a fan of mine. Hey, honestly, I'm down to get in the ring soon. I just wasn't ready for this fight, but I'm down to, like, commit to a boxing event in the future for sure. So. Yeah. Who do you guys want to see? Mayweather's son, Tanner Fox, or Aiden Ross? Let me know in the comments section down below. If you guys want to know what Dior food looked like, this is the avocado oh, toast. There's also sure, coffee. I've got a $15 lemonade coming here. We'll see what that size. is. Okay. Sam, this was $15? Yeah. $15 <laughs> taste test. Come on. I am a lemonade connoisseur though. Okay, let's see it then. <laughs> oh no, it's straight lemon juice. So it's not worth the $15? Wait, I was doing it wrong. Ah, 
there you go, there you go. Now it's good. I got a taste test this avocado yeah, toast. Does it taste like bread with avocado on it? It does taste really good though. It's a little different. I'm gonna give this like an 8 out of 10. It's actually fire. I believe it. That's me, thank you. Whoa, have you guys ever seen a Dior acai bowl? 15 bucks for an acai bowl? This is lit. Hey Nikon, how's the food, bro? I don't really know what I'm eating, but it's pretty good. <laughs> Noah? I'm having the Dior berries. It's good? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna taste this, the acai bowl. Here we go. What are we thinking? <laughs> no, no, actually, it's hey, really we, we gave ratings out of 10. So hold on, let me try like one more, one more. Some get chai it. seeds, raspberry, or chocolate, though. That kind of looks good. That chocolate is a separate review. <laughs> he turned around, it has to be you know good. What that means. Yeah, I know what that means. The acai bowl itself is a 10 out of 10. Easy. Okay. Hey, Dior chocolate in the acai bowl. Gotta be good. You want half of it? This is a swag and rug review. Hey, you got the bigger half? <laughs> All right, cheers, bro. <laughs> Thank you. Honestly, it tastes like Hershey's. Oh, okay. <laughs> I give it an eight. An eight? I'll go for an eight, too. Should I try the coffee? I'm gonna tell you right now, it's just coffee, bro. <laughs> I mean, it's literally just coffee. It's just coffee. I'm telling you. I'm gonna rate this a uh, five out of 10, and we're gonna enjoy the rest of our meals, and I'll see you guys soon. Guys, you won't believe who I'm with right now. Don't get mad at me, all right? I'm with Michael Lee. Oh, this so is who Jarvis is fighting tomorrow. I just ran into him right here. He's a really cool guy. You know, he he said he watched my videos back in the day. Yeah, and of course, bro. We were Sorry, actually we supposed tried. to collab, bro. Yeah, yeah, like, I know, I know. Hey, listen, you already know I'm rooting Fine. for Jarvis. I'm not gonna lie, you guys are, have both been training super hard. And there's something I haven't told my fans yet, and this is the first time I'm ever saying it. I actually got offered to fight Michael Originally, for Jarvis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was exactly. supposed to be me versus Michael. Can you imagine if that was the real thing? You no, probably, honestly, you probably would have been way more confident. <laughs> like, I wonder like how different it would have been like if I actually trained for three months and like would I have looked Dude, bigger? Have not, like, no, for sure. Hey, but honestly guys, tomorrow's gonna be an interesting day. We'll see what's about to happen, bro. Good luck out there though. Thank you, of course, all love. All right guys, I'm here with manager what's up, Nick. boys? How's it going? Manager Let's Nick. go, it's been a while. It's been a it's long been time. A so yeah, we're here at the Hard Rock Stadium where the fight is gonna happen and and just I'm a little sweaty. Just a little sweaty, it's very hot. We're about to see the stage right now. That's why I'm with Michael Lee. A lot of other YouTubers and TikTokers are coming here to rehearse, you know, prep for the fight. There's gonna be performances by Lil Baby, DJ Khaled, Migos. Like, it's a real, real event. Check this oh out. My God. Dude, what? This is insane. This is nuts. This is gonna be filled with fans Dude, tomorrow. Dude, it's a sporting event and a music concert. No way. This is crazy. Like I said, I was actually supposed to fight in this event, but the reason why I didn't accept it is because three months to train was just not in my schedule. You know, I make YouTube videos every other day. I wasn't ready to take a break from that, but in the near future, I'm 100% down to get in the boxing ring with someone. Uh, can we expect you to fight in the near future? Who, who, who do you want to fight? Aiden. Aiden? Aiden Rush. Dude, look at the boxing ring. Oh my gosh. Alright guys, it is fight night. We are here at the Hard Rock Stadium. I'm actually going to be commentating the Jarvis fight. I don't know how much I'm going to be able to vlog, but I do want to show you a little behind the scenes. Yup, yup. Oh, mine and your favorite rapper yeah. performing here too. Bro! Did you hear about the Tanner box? Bro, I did, I did. Tanner is supposed to box Rylan Storm. Yep. They did the weigh-ins, okay. and Tanner weighed 20 pounds less, so the commissioner of the fight said that you can't fight, because it's not safe. I get that. I get it 100%, but the thing is, Tanner wants to do it, and he's here, and he's suited up. Oh, no way. Oh my god, look who we got, bro. He's locked in, he's locked in. <laughs> oh <my> <laughs> <God>. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> Does he know he's gonna lose? That's the last time you're gonna see that guy conscious. We're wearing this right now. Dude, look at Nick shirt. But let's show him the rest of the place. It's crazy. Guys, but this is the Dolphin Stadium. If you guys didn't know, there's like a Dolphin. Quick. Yeah. If he looks at me wrong, I'm gonna have to fight. <laughs> okay. Yo, is Tanner in there? We're just gonna pull up on him. Look at this guy, What bro. up, bro? Like, hey, what? Oh, you're on live right now? We're George Jaco! Yo, listen. You're still suited up. What's gonna happen? Are you gonna go You know we're fighting. Yo, honestly, no, Tanner looks ready. I'm not gonna oh lie. God. Do you wanna just explain real quick, like, why this happened? I don't mean to interrupt your live, oh, but... Alright, so basically, yesterday, we came in 20 pounds apart. It was like an issue at first, because it was like, yo, we're pretty far apart. You know? Yeah. The pound difference, it was like a problem yesterday. Fast 
forward today, the commission all of a sudden cares. Yesterday, when I was asking everybody, is 20 pound difference a lot, guys? Like, I'm not a fighter, you know, that's yeah. five pounds. Everyone was like, oh no, it doesn't matter. Commission doesn't care, it's an exhibition. Now, fast forward, today, they tell me that the commission will not allow it. That's so trash. Dude, that sucks, I mean, man. I get the safety yeah. part, but. Of course, yeah, we care about your safety, but like, he's not like under age, like where he, he yeah, can't dude. make decisions on his own. I can yeah. drink. Exactly, bro. If you go to a club, you can fight. Or both. I can fight, I fight in the club. In the club. <laughs> Boxing fight in the club. You heard it from Tanner himself. Look at George, bro. George, that's enough, man. You already know. Come on, bro. So you're going to be announcing everyone coming out to the ring today? And the winners, yeah. And the winners. Except for the main event. I don't know if you want to show your prediction. No, I'll share my prediction, but I'm not sharing it on this one. Okay, that, that's respectful. So this one got canceled, so right here. Paige Jarvis. Okay. DDG. All right. Deji. All right. Taylor. And then there's two <laughs> that are on the We got Ryan Johnston versus Kale Siraj. I think I'm going to give that one to Ryan. Yeah, me too. Landon McBroom versus Ben Hazelard. And I'm going to Landon McBroom. Dude, again, that's hard for me because I'm friends with Landon, but Ben is such a nice guy. I know, but look, I'm no disrespect. Nice. I just ran into it. I went into his locker room to wish him luck. I said, how long have you been training for? He said three weeks. <laughs> It's, it's all yeah. about having fun at the end of the day. Alright, we'll see what's about to happen. <laughs> <laughs> come on, come on, let's go. Guys, I'm with the boy, little baby. You know what I'm saying? This guy, Face Clan. The absolute goat right here. We're gonna squad up on Warzone, yeah? Goats with the goats, you know, 4 PM game. We gotta squad hey, up. Let's go, bro. I appreciate you. You wanna say what's up to the vlog too? Yeah. What's up? Hey, let's go. This guy's a legend. Legend. Guys, I'm with my boy Keem, and we're gonna be commentating directly this fight. Oh, we're doing it big. I want to hear predictions. Are you doing predictions? This fight was canceled. Yep. Uh, Jarvis is beating Michael Lee. Mm -hmm. DDG and AY is really hard to call. For some reason, I'm favoring DDG. We got Deji versus Vinny Hacker, and it's easy to say Deji. Gib versus Taylor Holder. Now, this is a good one. Like dude, I love it. I love <laughs> it. So, this one's hard. I can tell you right now, I have a $10,000 bet on Taylor Holder. Ooh, wow. Dude, I picked Wait. Taylor, too. I, yeah. I'm rooting for Gib, but I put my money on Taylor. Now let's move it up to the top part. Oh, I need to hear this one. I need to hear this. Now Austin McBroom is going to be fast on his feet. He is going to be absolutely the better boxer. All right. This guy is just out. awesome. Yeah. It's Austin McBroom winning. I think so too, man. Awesome. Let's go. Yes, sir. I'm with the man before the fight. Jarvis, bro. Come on, man. This is going to be insane. Right now. You're just ready for this. I have to be. I've been training hard, so you know. Of course, bro. What do you think is like the prediction? Like, do you have any like idea of what you want? Mate, to I mean, I've been saying I'm trying to knock him out. So I'm going to try and knock him out, of course. But, um, you know, I'm going to just keep pressuring him. It's two minute rounds, so I'm just going to pressure him the whole time. Of course. And then hopefully I can get that one nice right hand, left hook, something. Bro, this is the moment right here. Yeah, it's yeah. It's happening right now. three months I've been training, it's just leading up to this. Oh my and god, I'm so fight. excited, so, bro. I love you, dude. Good luck out there. Thank you, man. Yes, of course, man. Good yes, luck. Sir. There's a round two knockout right here. I feel it. I feel it. Look at this. Could be. Look at. Oh my god. 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 Michael Lee. Jarvis. He got shot by the face. Jarvis. Oh my god. Wow. It happened. It happened. Come on. Oh my gosh, guys. Last night was the craziest experience of my life. I got to commentate Jarvis's fight in which Jarvis knocked out Michael in the second round. And the craziest thing is, I actually called out the second round knockout literally five seconds before Jarvis actually knocked him out. This is the end of the Miami trip and the end of the vlog. Amazing, amazing trip. I'm so happy I got to vlog it all for you guys. And I got to meet little Baby. That guy is one of the greatest, the absolute GOAT. Literally my favorite at the moment and I got to meet him I just want to say thank you guys so much for the support because if it wasn't for you I wouldn't be here I wouldn't get to enjoy this beautiful view and I did meet a ton of fans at the event drop a like on this video If you want to see more vlogs like this, I seriously love doing them So hit that subscribe button if you're new and other than that, it's been rug and I'm out Peace. I just pulled up in that Lambo I'm so hard I need a fan on In Diego in the sand, oh.